Can you solo an RPG? Yes. Many players will ask, well, why would you want to solo an RPG? Role-playing games are about stepping outside of space and time, creating this living world, this construct where you, either as a player or even as a GM, a game master or or DM dungeon master, you're going to step in there. You're stepping outside of space and time to create a narrative. The, The social aspect, I mean, rules are important. Good rules, good narrative are important, but 80% of a role-playing game is the social aspect, the creativity, the interaction, those moments where it all comes down to a single roll of the dice. You've got that D20. You need to hit. You've got eight hit points left. You need to make this happen. Invoke whatever dice gods you need to do. Let's do this. Roll the dice. So such a social experience, why would we want to play solo? Well, a lot of reasons. Two very good reasons are annoying things like life, school, work, responsibilities. There are times where even if you have a regular schedule of playing role-playing games, things shift and you can't play for a while. Um, When I was heading back to school, that one class that I needed was on Thursday evenings. So for three and a half months, I I couldn't make the regular role-playing session, and I wasn't going to switch everyone else's schedule. Likewise, the rest of the week was completely booked up with work, so I I wasn't able to kind of temporarily join another group. No RPGs for Fritz. That's an example of possibly playing solo. I mean, I did play a couple of pickup games on the weekend, and I made it through, but there might be times where there's a shift and you just can't make regular tabletop or or virtually play. Uh, Another example, and I use this all the time, Emulators, solo RPG is interesting because maybe you want to learn the system, right? Maybe you're jumping into Dungeons and Dragons for the first time and you're making your way as a DM, Dungeon Master. Being able to play an adventure solo lets you learn the rules as you go. Or maybe you have a character idea. You have a character idea you want to try out. Solo, play it. Maybe you want to run that adventure that you've just purchased or the adventure that you've been working on for a long time. You put literally lots and lots of hours into it, and you want to see how does it play. So one of the ways to solo play is to use an emulator, and Mythic is a great example. Uh, This is a pen and paper emulator that asks essentially, I mean, it is sophisticated, it asks essentially yes or no based on a D100 dice, 2D10. And it's the yes and no is modified by probability. So this idea, you ask questions. You start off the adventure. Um, and it has a flow chart that you model so you can backtrack and find out other things. You're standing before a door. You listen, you hear nothing. The door is unlocked. You open the door. What's on the other side? Through Mythic, now you start to ask a bunch of questions. Well, is it a dungeon? If it's a dungeon, is there a chance of a monster? Yes or no? Well, if it's the very first door to the dungeon, there could very well be a monster there. The guard post, um, initial goblins or orcs. So you roll to confirm or deny. Yes or no. Binary, one or zero. And you go through this chart and essentially it builds a little room with stuff to interact. And then you make the decision now that the room is here. So essentially it's the DM the emulator telling you what you see. Then you can make your skill checks or run through combat. And you can build an adventure. You can build a dungeon. You can build a quest utilizing this. And uh, the nice thing about it is you don't know what's ahead. You could also take Mythic and run solo RPG, run a module where when you enter a room, so if I'm running Alien, the RPG, and I go into a new section of the spacecraft because I'm looking for oxygen scrubbers. I've got to get that O2 level back up. What's the chance of the alien actually being in there? Well, am I aware there's an alien? Yeah, I probably am. I'm playing alien in the RPG. You roll to confirm. If the alien is there, Mythic will tell you how it's going to act, what it's going to do. It adds an element of unknown control that you can utilize and play. That's the first piece. I would look at emulators. There's a couple of digital emulators. Um, I'm kind of old school RPG. I like PDFs. I like digital content, but I tend to play with books and dice for the interaction. And Mythic, you can print it out, set it up, play it, and utilize that 
for a solo RPG experience. Is it the most optimal way to play a role-playing game? I would answer that question simply by saying, we have this rule set, we have this narrative, we have this RPG experience. You're passionate about it. Let's explore it. Let's play tabletop. Absolutely social interaction. But let's play remote. Let's play video. Let's play audio. Let's play chat. Let's play solo. Let's, let's just explore the system in every single way based on the circumstances, the actual life circumstances of where you are in the moment. 